हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे इज ट्वेंटी एट्थ ऑफ जुलाई एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द हिंदू न्यूज़पेपर एनालिसिस डिस्कशन सो गाइज लेट स्टार्ट विद द वीडियो सो इन द टुडेज वीडियो विल टेक अप द एंटायर एनालिसिस ऑफ द हिंदू न्यूज़पेपर अलॉन्ग विद ऑल द आर्टिकल्स एंड द बैकग्राउंड ना फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट्स टेक द ओवर ऑफ द न्यूज़ पेपर एंड आई वुड ऑल्सो लाइक टू टेल यू दैट यू कैन डाउनलोड द एक्सप्लेनर नोट्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन फ्रॉम माई टेलीग्राम चैनल द लिंक फॉर द टेलीग्राम चैनल इज गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स इन यूट्यूब फाइन सो यू कैन डाउनलोड द file from there now first of all uh, let's take the overview and here we have the hindu newspaper so on the first page the first article uh, it talks about supreme court extends mishra's tenure as ed director uh, till the september 15 okay so guys uh, we see this particular thing that the <coughs> uh, we see this particular thing that the new director was to be appointed but uh, you are not required to go too much in detail in this particular direction then cbi to probe manipur sexual assault so recently a video got surfaced where it was seen that the women uh, they were raped they were uh, paraded naked so in this particular capacity the investigation is going on then moving on guys we have these advertisements then the city section and all such kind of a things uh, nothing much important has been given in this particular direction so no need to go too much in detail here then further moving on upa changed its name to hide past wrongs again the political articles etc have been given for the examination Delhi's dirty linen hung out to dry. Find Metro Plus page. Ah, uh, guys. Ah, uh, basically, this Metro Plus page, it's like right contains some articles on the lifestyle, leisures, etc. Find ah uh, for exam, nothing much substance has been given. Then coming to the editorial page, weighing in on the National Research Foundation bill, we'll see this particular article with respect to the examination. The hornets nest in the forest abutment bill, we'll see this particular article also with respect to the examination. Spanish voters have placed their faith in mainstream parties. Now, guys, the article is largely about the internal politics going on in the Spain. Now, uh, you are again no need to go too much in detail in this particular lines for the exam. Is seat adjustment enough for opposition unity? So, guys, we see this particular thing that uh, recently the opposition parties they have formed a kind of a pre uh, pre poll kind of a coalition that is the India India National Development Inclusive Alliance. okay which aims to take up against the ruling government so the article is talking about this particular thing that how the opposition parties have divided the seats amongst them and all such kind of a things uh, for examination again guys much substance has not been given in this particular article so i will not advise you to go too much in that then coming to the text and the context page we have this article the anatomy of the yamuna flood plains we'll see this particular article again for the exam then uh, uh, basically here we have the limelight article kohra navigating the turmoil of love and family drama so this article is talking about a recent series on the netflix again no need to go in here then uh, further moving on guys uh, cookies omi students seek shift to other institutions okay so in respect to the manipur the issue is going on then guys after that women's bill can be taken up only by consensus so basically guys one thing i just i want to tell you here that 108th constitutional amendment bill uh, basically was proposed uh, and this 108th constitutional amendment bill provide uh, aimed to provide 33% uh, reservation of the seats to the women in lok sabha as well as assemblies but the bill did not got passed until then the demands have been made that the women reservation bill should be taken up but it has been said that we need to do more consultation on that particular thing then eyes or nays on aligned parties which choice fine so basically guys what has happened uh, the no confidence motion has been moved against the government okay now why this no confidence motion has been moved because it is being said that on manipur the much thing has not been done and other issues are there so the article is talking about that which party will support bjp which party might go against bjp but anyhow whatever happens this no confidence motion will not be uh, will not be passed the government will continue because the bjp has a clear majority in the house okay then further moving on after that jay shankar speech re disrupted fine uh, yes uh, here we have an article no president can retract climate change promise we'll see it briefly no accurate account of pwd population people uh, with the disabilities population we'll see this particular article uh, gig workers seek model law right and social security 
तो बेसिकली गाइज जस्ट वन थिंग यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट हु आर द गिग वर्कर्स सो बेसिकली द गिग वर्कर्स आर दोज वर्कर्स हु डोंट हैव एनी परमानेंट रिलेशन विद देयर एम्प्लॉयर दे वर्क ऑन पर असाइनमेंट बेसिस फॉर एग्जाम्पल द ओला ऊबर स्विगी जोमैटो दे आर द पार्टनर्स ऑफ दीज प्लेटफॉर्म्स ओके वर्क ऑन पर ऑर्डर एंड दे गेट सम पेमेंट तो दीज गिग वर्कर्स दे डोंट हैव मच ऑफ अ प्रोटेक्शन हाउ एवर गाइज रिसेंटली इफ यू रिमेंबर वी हैव सीन the rajasthan government which have come out with a law for the gig workers so on that particular thing a national law a national laws demand is being made so national coordination committee on gig workers they have said that the parliament should come out with a law okay then further moving on a mutinous soldier claim to have outsid niger president russia will try to avert food crisis putin at summit so uh, basically guys uh, what has happened uh, russia has withdrawn from the black Russia had withdrawn from the Black Sea Grain Initiative, under which, through the Black Sea, the grains were being provided with to, to the uh, Europe through the Ukraine. So they have uh, withdrawn from that because of that particular thing. The food crisis might come because Ukraine is the breadbasket of the Europe. So they say that we'll take some action, but nothing much important has come. Then, guys, uh, here we have an article: Government may extend PLI scheme to chemicals, petrochemicals. We'll see this article. other articles are not important talking about the corporate trends and all such kind of a things so no need to go too much here then guys on the sports page we have these articles then on the science page guys uh, there are some good articles that come but what today's article is talking about so basically uh, the article is talking about the ludwig von beethoven's death okay so beethoven was a very important contributor in the field of the music okay so he died and because of his death he had multiple diseases so which disease killed him for that particular thing the st studies are going on from so many of the years and finally it has been said that uh, uh, he died because of the hepatitis b so the article is just explaining that particular thing only that uh, the studies were done and all such things for exam guys again much importance has not been there okay and that is all about the newspaper and now let's discuss the all these articles relevant one by one in the detail okay now in every class we take a gs quotation and this quotation can be used to complement your answers in the gs paper number uh, 1 2 3 or 4 so today we'll take the quotation from dr b r ambedkar so dr b r ambedkar says that unlike a drop of water which loses its identity when it joins the ocean man 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 doesn't loses his being in the society in which he lives man is not born for the develop uh, for development of society alone but for the development of his self so basically guys uh, you see this particular thing that suppose this is the sea ocean the water so when the water drop when the water drop will fall in this particular sea what you see will be the big body of water independent drop will not be visible fine this big body of water will absorb that okay so it loses its identity but the man will not lose the identity in the society everything just for the sake of society cannot be imposed man's individual rights man's individual existence will be there man is not born just for the development of society alone man also is born for their own development okay so individual rights individual identities of every person is equally important in the society this is the idea that has been given by the b r ambedkar we can use this particular idea uh, for our gs paper number 1 gs paper number 1 the issues related to the society issues related to the society that is about it and now let's take the first article for the today so guys the first article that we'll take is from uh, that extend the context and the article reads the anatomy of the yamuna flood plains now we'll see this particular article with respect to the gs paper number 3 disaster management as well as we you can also see this particular thing as an example of the unplanned urbanization urbanization is a topic has been mentioned in our gs paper number 1 social issues now first of all before going in this particular article let me tell you some of the basic background information that you need to know so basically guys we have seen few days back that because of the excessive rainfalls the yamuna got flooded and as the yamuna river got flooded it has submerged many of the posh localities of the delhi in the neighborhood of the yamuna and many other areas of the delhi they got water logged 
Now understand this particular thing. This year it is Delhi. This year it is Delhi. That is 23. Last year it was Bangalore. Last year it was Bangalore. 2022. 2021 was Chennai. 2021 was Chennai. We see every year that one or the other metropolitan city it is submerged particularly during the monsoons. Now this particular thing can be called as an example of the urban flooding. It can be called as an example of urban flooding. Now guys when we talk about the urban flooding, urban flooding happens to be particularly more problematic than the flooding in the rural areas or in the forests. Why? Because first of all when we talk about the urban flooding here the water if a river floods okay or because of any other reason if the water comes then that water flows at a very fast rate because because there is concretized lands okay and because of that concretized land the water cannot percolate in the ground after that guys because of the plain surface again such as the pavements concrete lands the water flows without the friction so in very less time there will be huge water that will be accumulated in the urban area so urban flooding becomes notoriously dangerous in very less time secondly guys because of a lot of public utility services infrastructure is lo located into the urban areas the urban flooding becomes particularly more problematic hospitals utilities educational institutions they all have to be shut down third guys as the urban areas are more densely populated any urban flooding will impact large number of people and then the after effects of the urban flooding that is there can be many contagious diseases that might increase it is an added problem then guys the economic damage economic damage of urban flooding is also very much high it can translate into the loss of livelihood the loss of tourism value okay the uh, basically infrastructure facilities that got damaged and that are to be reconstructed in this particular form we see that the urban flooding becomes particularly more problematic so these are some of the general background things that you need to know now coming to the yamuna issue so basically guys when we talk about the delhi so yamuna is called as the lifeline of delhi yamuna is called as the master planner of delhi and in this particular capacity here the reference has been given uh, of uh, environmentalist Mr. Anupam Mishra. So Mr. Anupam Mishra said this particular thing that the Yamuna is Delhi's real town planner. planner. It meanders through the Delhi ensuring that the city was never short of water, never ravaged of famine, flood. Okay so Delhi has meticulously ran across the state, across the Delhi. Okay but what has happened now this can not be said true. Because now what has happened due to the haphazard <laughs> due to the haphazard construction activities due to the rapid urbanization due to uh, the lack of proper housing because of lack of proper regulations what has happened the so much of the obstructions have been created into the Yamuna Yamuna's floodplain that today Yamuna is becoming the sorrow of the Delhi now see this particular thing suppose the Yamuna flows like this in Delhi okay and we see this particular thing that the development of the Delhi has happened around the Yamuna. But what has happened? Some way the basically the areas, rivers, catchment area are getting disturbed. The floodplains are being overtaken for the developmental activities etc. Let's see this particular thing. So basically it is said and in, it is true okay for the all the rivers okay not only for Yamuna but all the rivers it is true that every river has a right to expand. Now what do we mean by this right to expand? Now suppose the river is going like this but sometimes the water flow in the river will increase and the water will flood into the nearby areas. So the river course has actually expanded to like this. Okay. So sometimes as water will increase the river will expand. River needs the breathing place. So basically is, uh, the area around the river it this particular kind of an area it is called as the flood plains of a particular river and these flood plains should not be disturbed should not be tempered but actually what has happened we see this particular thing that the flood plains okay suppose this is this is the river so these flood plains they have been concretized high-rise buildings commercial buildings have been constructed here because it becomes a prime real estate 
एंड वी सी दैट द सेम थिंग इज हैपनिंग इन डेली पुणे लखनऊ मुंबई अराउंड द रिवर द फ्लड प्लेन आर बींग कॉन्क्रिटाइज हाउसिंग सोसाइटीज आर बींग क्रिएटेड सो द रिवर is not being given the place to breathe and in that capacity when the river will flood what will happen all the infrastructure you created it will get flooded and then we say that the river has misbehaved rather than the humans are there who have misbehaved now see this particular thing guys these flood plains also they are also very much important because when the river will increase these flood plains will slow the water run off into the river because they will not be concretized also in these flood plains what will happen the water will percolate and as the water will percolate in these flood plains okay it will recharge the ground water store the excess water okay it will replenish the ground water table this is all the things that will be done now the national green tribunal in 2016 has imposed a blanket ban on all the construction activities around the yamuna's river flood plains but we have seen that still it has not been properly enforced now historically historically what are the factors that there is so much of the developments etc that has happened on the flood plains so basically guys the first uh, development that we see it happened just after the independence so after the independence we see that uh, post partition a lot of refugees came from pakistan to the india and these refugees they were settled okay uh, they were settled in the delhi largely on the flood plains of the yamuna river so what happened the concretization building they started on the flood plains of the delhi then in 1982 the asian games were to be hosted into the delhi and for that 1 million migrant laborers from the neighboring states uttar pradesh haryana bihar they came and they were given the task of building the flyovers the sports facilities luxury apartments everything and after that they have stayed back in the delhi only and they have settled around the embankments of the yamuna river flood pla flood plains and this is also the reason then after that guys we see this particular thing that the city the delhi has also failed to build a proper sewage network okay and as they have failed to build the sewage network what is happening the effluents okay all the waste is flowing into the yamuna river and because of that particular thing the course of the yamuna river has been choked has been choked and because of that particular thing also the yamuna occasionally uh, floods in around the nearby region and then also we see this particular thing that the flood plain zoning has not happened in the india uh, and even in delhi's delhi's master plan even the master plan 2041 of delhi has not done the flood plain zoning now what is the flood plain zoning now for example this is the river around the river the area is the flood plain so you have to zone this region for example zone 1 no construction can be done zone 2 only those infrastructure can be made which is critical zone 3 regularization will be done and after the zone 4 only the activities construction can be done so such so a uh, flood plain zoning has not happened in india and because of that particular thing all these particular issues have emerged from time to time so that is all guys about this particular article i hope that you have understood it and now we'll be moving to the next article weighing in on the national research foundation bill now we'll see this particular article with respect to the gs paper number 2 issues related to the education issues related to the research and development in india okay even in gs paper number 3 the utility of this article can be there one thing more i have discussed i think multiple times this article earlier also guys with you now uh, so this particular article guys is actually talking about the nrf bill nrf bill nrf stands for the national research foundation it stands for the national research foundation now the bill has been cleared by the cabinet and has been proposed in the parliament now this nrf bill it proposes to establish an apex body high level body which will uh, high level body which will mobilize the research expenditure which will be mobilizing the r and d in the india now guys when we talk about the research and development it is very important to improve the innovation in a country to improve the economic well being of a nation for example the niti ayog niti ayog has provided that if india wants to realize the goal of the 5 trillion dollar economy in the near future 
basically the india's gross expenditure on research and development needs to increase right now our gross expenditure on research and development is around 0.67% okay uh, sometimes it goes up but it stays between 0.6 to 0.8% so this is our gross expenditure on research and development we need to increase our gross expenditure on research and development between the range of 2 to 2.5% if we want to become the 5 trillion dollar economy in the near course this is we have to do so in order to mobilize the expenditure on research and development nrf has been brought now guys this nrf national research foundation it will it will uh, uh, replace or it will subsume the science and engineering research board serb now science and engineering research board was created by the serb act of 2008 now this was established as a body uh, un, uh, as a body under the department of science and technology and this in science and engineering research board used to mobilize the r and d and all such kind of a things but now the nrf will come and serb will be subsumed under the nrf body only now when we talk about why we need to have this dedicated body for the research and development so basically guys just i want to give you the reference of the kasturi rangan committee now basically kasturi rangan committee was the committee who recommend or on whose recommendation the national education policy 2020 was also framed and kasturi rangan committee very clearly provided this particular thing that in india the culture of innovation cannot be improved the uh, education cannot be improved until and unless we put more money in the research and development and kasturi rangan committee also provided this particular thing that government needs to contribute at least 10,000 crore rupees every year on the research and development and even the national education policy 2020 came that also provided that a dedicated body for the research and development is to be created fine this is something that actually happened now guys one more thing i want to tell you that though the nrf as a new body will come but there are many other existing institutions which are already funding the r d in india fine for example there is the department of we have the department of science and technology fine we have department of atomic energy department of biotechnology indian council of agricultural research is there indian council of medical research indian council of historical research ugc they also uh, contribute in research and development all of them will continue okay it is being said that even for example in usa there are multiple bodies that continue for r d so they will continue and nrf will also come now as I've told you guys that around 0.6567% we spend on uh, our research and development. But if you compare the United States, it is spending 2.8%. China is spending 2.1%. Israel is spending 4.3% in R&D. 4.2% on R&D is being spent by the South Korea. But India is spending very much less. Now guys, as we talk about this particular NRF, National Research Foundation. So basically the idea is that the idea for the nrf is that uh, total total 50000 just a minute total 50000 crore rupees will be mobilized under this nrf over the next 5 years 50000 crore over the next 5 years out of that 14000 crore rupees will be mobilized by the government and 36000 crore rupees will be mobilized by the uh, will be mobilized by the private sector will be mobilized by the private sector okay so basically we see that 14000 crore rupees will come over the next 5 years okay so it means that 2800 crore rupees government will give every one year now if you see the suri rangan committee how much they recommended the suri rangan committee recommended the 10000 crore rupees and against that only 2800 crore rupees per year are coming so the funding has been less funding is less this is not right as per the Kasui Rangan committee. Moreover guys it has also been provided that the SCRB it will I told you that it will be merged under the NRF. Now SCRB also was given a dedicated funding. We need to see that for that that money will also come additionally or that money will be subsumed under this 2800 crore rupee only. In the past we have seen this particular thing that when the schemes are merged or subsumed in a new scheme then their funding is slashed. So basically whether the funding will reduce or not that also has to be seen. 
so that is all guys about this particular article i hope that you have understood it and now moving to the next article the hornets nest in the forest amendment bill so uh, basically this particular article guys uh, we'll see with respect to the gs paper number 3 uh, the the conservation of the forest conservation of the forest okay no first of all let me tell you this basic things that have happened so recently the lok sabha has passed the forest conservation amendment bill 2023 and it will change the forest conservation act 1980 it will change the forest conservation act 1980 now government is saying that we are bringing this particular amendment to meet up the environmental targets for example india wants to become a carbon neutral country by 2070 net zero emissions are to be reached after that we want to build a carbon sink then we need to have the forest which can absorb the carbon dioxide then we need to increase the forest cover find livelihood of the communities who are dependent on the forest they are to be improved so for this particular thing the amendment is needed now basically the article is saying that the amendments they have more problems okay now it has been said that this particular bill will regularize the clearing clearing of the forest and many such provisions are there in this particular bill which are problematic now first let's see all these problems provisions one by one so basically guys it has been said that the bill has diluted the god varman judgment of 1996 now what is this god varman judgment of 1996 basically guys understand this particular thing what do you mean by the word forest what do you mean by the word forest so basically there can be the two meanings of the forest one is the dictionary meaning of the forest one is the dictionary meaning of the forest it means that wherever there is the forest wherever there are the trees that is a forest fine the patch of land covered by the trees is forest this is a dictionary meaning very simple meaning but then there is the next is the legal meaning of the forest legal meaning of the forest means the forest is that particular area which have been notified by the government as a forest which have been notified by the government as the forest now basically guys the forest conservation act of 1980 just a one minute okay so we have the forest conservation act of 1980 it gives a lot of protection to the forest what is a forest so government says that area will be the forest which we will notify as a forest so it means unnotified area there you can cut the trees you don't need the permission all such kind of a things now when we talk about the god varman judgment it provided that the forest dictionary meaning is to be seen means any area where there are the uh, trees that are there that is to be considered as a forest even the areas which are not notified even the areas which are not notified but have the trees they are also to be created treated as the forest so this particular uh, judgment of 1996 expanded the definition of the forest now what has happened this particular bill wants to uh, amend the definition of the forest and it wants to provide that the forest only are those areas which are legally notified as the forest now because of this particular thing what will happen india's 28% forest cover india's 28% of the forest cover will become vulnerable because all the areas where trees are there they are not notified as the forest and guys many of the areas for example aravalli hills in the delhi many other areas in the other states they will become vulnerable the next thing guys that had happened in this particular bill fine so basically the bill provides that see for example this is the national boundary this is the national boundary and around the national boundary a lot of infrastructure has to be created okay that is important yes we also say it is important now guys there is also the place particularly if you take the northeast so in the northeast there is lot of dense forest around the around the borders now if we read the forest conservation act if you want to build any infrastructure here if you want to build any infrastructure here first of all you have to take approval but government says that because of this particular thing the process becomes very much delayed so government had said that within the 100 km of international border government can make any infrastructure can clear the forest can make the infrastructure and no need of forest clearance is needed so no forest clearance is needed within the 100 kilometers of international borders they can create the infrastructure now i told you that many of these particular areas they are the hotspots of biodiversity particularly in the northeast region so this might be getting impacted negatively 
the next thing that has come in this particular direction is that guys it also gives the unrestricted powers to the government that it can also notify anything as a, a, a any desired use they can notify beyond which uh, the uh, into which the permission is not needed so basically guys understand this thing there are specified reason for that particular thing you need not permission for example if you want to create the infrastructure within 100 kilometer you don't need permission it is a specified reason such more specifications government can add okay fine uh, this is about it and then guys this particular another problem that comes here is that this bill is not making any reference of the other acts for example we have this scheduled tribe and other traditional forest dwellers uh, recognition of forest rights act 2006 now we call it in the short, short form as the fra 2006 forest rights act 2006 now you see this particular thing <clears throat> then we that we talk about the forest right act 2006 under this particular act the land titles land titles okay uh, the individual land titles as well as the community land titles as well as the community land titles have been given to the tribal communities their rights on the forest have been recognized you cannot take over their right you cannot divert their forest if you need to do that thing gram sabha's consent is needed but what it is happening this law is not mentioning that the fra has to be complied it means the forest can be diverted including the forest where the tribal people are living so the community participation has been reduced as per this particular article article is saying that if we take the example of our neighbor nepal our, if we take the example of our neighbor nepal so in nepal we find this particular thing that the local community has been given lot of rights onto the forest and because of this particular thing their forest cover increased from 26 percent to 45 percent a lot of rights have been given but in india this is being violated it has been said that exceptions are needed in certain cases for example for the <coughs> infrastructure exceptions are needed all these particular things are needed but we also at the same time need to ensure that the forest is also very much important so that is all guys about it and i hope that you have understood this particular article now we'll move to the next article no accurate count of people with disabilities population says parliamentary panel now guys uh, basically when we talk about the people with disabilities they have been called as india's biggest and invisible minority often there are the people with the disabilities government need to bring the welfare schemes for that but often government is not having the data about these people that how many disabled people do we actually have what is the economic status of them what is the social condition of them what is type of employment they are doing what is their educational status that data that information is not there with the government now what has happened union government fine has been questioned by the parliamentary standing committee on social justice and empowerment that you how you are knowing the condition of these people you don't have any data now see this particular thing guys that the census of 2011 was conducted which provided that around 2.2 percent of indian population is the disabled population now 2021 census has not happened till now so how you know about their condition now the government has explained this particular thing that we are largely relying on to the census but after that there are also the national sample survey by the nso then the state government have done some surveys so by that we are collecting that information but guys that is a kind of a very gap filling kind of an approach so proper data has not been there so you can just write it as a kind of a dimension in your answers if you are writing on that particular thing no need to go and explain that much into detail but when we talk about the tribal people's uh, sorry disabled people's concern the very big concern is that the data is not there about their condition that is about it now moving to the next article government may extend the pli scheme uh, to chemicals petrochemicals so basically guys uh, we uh, what the pli scheme is PLI stands for the production linked incentive scheme now under the production linked incentive scheme government gives the benefit of or the 2 to 3 percent of the incentive is given for the incremental sale for the incremental sales now what is this incremental sale let me explain you 
सपोज गाइज आई एम अ मोबाइल मैन्युफैक्चरर आई एम अ मोबाइल मैन्युफैक्चरर लास्ट ईयर आई हैड मैन्युफैक्चर्ड एंड आई हैड मेड अ सेल ऑफ मोबाइल फोन ऑफ हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज दिस कुड बी डोमेस्टिक सेल दिस कुड बी एक्सपोर्ट नाउ सपोज दिस ईयर आई हैव मेड द सेल ऑफ टू हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज सो वट इज द इंक्रीमेंटल सेल हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज तो ओवर दिस हंड्रेड करोड़ रुपीज टू टू थ्री परसेंट ऑफ इंसेंटिव इज गिवन दिस इज द प्रोडक्शन लिंक इंसेंटिव स्कीम नाउ अंडर द प्रोडक्शन लिंक इंसेंटिव स्कीम देर आर मेनी सेक्टर्स दैट आर कवर्ड ऑटोमोबाइल सेक्टर इज देयर और ऑटोमोबाइल सेक्टर इज देयर मोबाइल मैनुफैक्चरिंग इज देयर इलेक्ट्रिक इंडस्ट्रीज इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंडस्ट्री इज देयर नाउ गवर्नमेंट इज ऑल्सो डिसाइडिंग टू ब्रिंग द केमिकल्स एंड द पेट्रोकेमिकल इंडस्ट्री अंडर द पी एल आई स्कीम वाई बिकॉज गाइज देयर आर मेनी ऑफ द ग्लोबल इन्वेस्टर्स सच एज द बी एस एफ एड एडनॉक रॉजनेफ्ट एराम को ऑल दे आर लुकिंग टू डेवलप द जॉइंट वेंचर इन इंडिया फॉर द मैनुफैक्चरिंग सो दे वॉन्ट टू एंटर इन द केमिकल्स एज वेल एज द पेट्रोकेमिकल इंडस्ट्री सो इन ऑर्डर टू अट्रैक्ट दैम द पी एल आई स्कीम माइड बी रिस्ट्रक्चर्ड एंड इवन दीज न्यू सेक्टर्स विल बी एडेड ओके सो बिकॉज ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग इट विल अट्रैक्ट द फॉरन इन्वेस्टर्स हु वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट अ जॉइंट वेंचर इन इंडिया and by that particular thing obviously employment generation will happen if they if they will come here and if will they do their activities if they will also be paying the taxes and that tax money will be also used for the national welfare and development so all these benefits will come fine so that is all about this particular article and now moving to the next article no president can retract climate change promise okay so basically guys what this article is all about this article is actually interview with mr john carry uh who is the us special envoy on climate special envoy is an officer who is appointed for some specific particular purpose okay now guys understand this particular thing that 2015 paris agreement was was agreed paris agreement was agreed under that paris agreement intended nationally determined contributions were taken by every country they will reduce the greenhouse gas emission they will uh, increase the forest cover and all such kind of a thing every country took the indcs india also took it now we see this particular thing that as the donald trump became the president of the usa he pulled out from this paris agreement he pulled out from this paris agreement and at that point of a time usa was criticized a lot that you have pulled out from the paris agreement which is a climate treaty you are not serious on the climate and all such kind of a things now guys after uh, the joe biden became the president again the usa has joined the paris agreement now the john kerry says this thing that now no president can retract from the climate change provision we have brought the changes in our law fine through an amendment we have brought that no president can go out of that particular thing and during the donald trump the funding for the climate finance was also not coming now guys when we talk about the climate finance in the copenhagen in copenhagen in 2009 it was promised that 100 billion dollar that 100 billion dollar every year will flow from developed countries to the developing countries but up till now this 100 billion dollar has not come so usa is also promising that we will we will give the 100 billion dollar okay so this is something <laughs> okay uh he says uh, this thing okay, that now we have the funding and will give the 100 billion dollars also and further he has also said that now under the g20 also the climate change and all such kind of a things are being taken up that is a good thing so that is all guys about uh, this entire article the things that have come beyond that nothing much important has been given it is essentially an interview you are not required to track it that much and then we have the main practice question for today the question reads that how has rampant construction blocked flood pathways and impeded the rivers right to expand what are the consequences of rapid urbanization on the flood plains so that is all guys about the question for the today and uh, i hope that you have understood it so that is all guys about it and uh, with this we come to an end to the today's session uh, guys uh, if you have uh, understood and you have liked the video please do guys hit the like button and also please leave your comments thank you so much